Imagine waking up to a tarantula casually strolling across your face. Send shivers down your spine, right? Then you may not be a fan of some of these creatures, most straight out of a horror movie. From the appropriately named wolf fish whose mouth houses rows upon rows of teeth, to the eight-legged octopus who shares its name with a Disney favorite, here are 15 creatures that seem to be coming from hell. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15, Atlantic Wolffish. A set of braces wouldn't go astray here with this frightening looking fish known for its extensive teeth structure and hideous overbite. With both the upper and lower jaws armed with six fang-like teeth, three rows of crushing teeth, a total of six rows of molars, and serrated teeth scattered throughout its throat, there's little wonder this fish is called the Atlantic Wolffish. Its teeth are what separate this fish from the other members of the Anharichati family. It has a similar appearance and general external characteristics of small bleniodi or blennies, a common term applied to several families of percomorph marine, brackish, and some freshwater fish. The cylinder-shaped Atlantic wolffish has an eel-like body and is typically much larger than other blennies, with the biggest specimen ever recorded measuring a whopping 5 feet long and weighing just under 20 kilograms. They vary in color from a purplish-brown to a dull olive-green or bluish-gray and have a dorsal fin that runs right along its back. With special adaptations allowing it to feed on hard-shelled animals, the spotted wolffish is a carnivore and is known by the name Steinbit or Stone Crusher in Norway. Inhabiting both the west and east coasts of the Atlantic, the adult fish has many predators, including cod and Greenland sharks. As such, they tend to hide under and between rocks for protection, making them difficult to spot. Although they look like a vicious monster, the wolffish is not aggressive and mainly feeds on slow-moving prey such as crabs and large snails. Due to the high concentration of an antifreeze compound in their blood, the Atlantic wolffish can survive in freezing weather conditions. However, it is in danger of extinction. Their population is declining thanks to overfishing, unintentional catching by fishermen, and habitat disruption from bottom trawling fishing boats. Number 14 Deep Sea Octopus Deep on the ocean floor, in fact anywhere between 3,000 and 13,000 feet below the surface, lies an octopus that shares its name with Disney's Dumbo the Elephant. Known for his massive ears that enabled him to fly, this octopus appears to fly through the water, flapping its flippers. Like other deep sea octopuses, the Dumbo octopus lacks ink sacs, so it cannot produce ink. It also comes in various shapes, sizes, and colors, and can change color to camouflage camouflage itself against the ocean floor, protecting it from predators. Members of the genus Grimpotuthis, a subset of the Umbrella octopuses, there are 13 species of Dumbo octopus, with an average size between 20 to 30 centimeters in length and weighing approximately 5.9 kilograms or 13 pounds. With very specific living conditions, these octopus can only be viewed in their natural habitat, so sorry folks, there's no chance of catching a glimpse of them at your local aquarium or pet store. The webbing between its tentacles and its ear-like fins give the octopus an umbrella-like appearance, and their large eyes, although taking up to a third of their head, lack the lens required to navigate the eternal darkness of the deep sea depths. It's likely the octopus can only detect shadows and movement. While the octopus's flapping fins are used to propel it through the water, its tentacles act like a rudder, helping to control the direction in which the creature crawls along the ocean floor. The deepest living octopus, the Dumbo, uses the suck on its tentacles to locate food and sense the surrounding environment. With food relatively scarce, the octopus is known to be slow moving in order to conserve its energy, only coming out of hiding to sneak up on, catch, and engulf its prey as it floats past. A Dumbo octopus is said to live between three and five years, and while some are trapped in fishing nets, their capture is rare due to their seafloor habitat. Rather than being considered frightening, their appearance is simply peculiar and not unlike that of an alien with a large large bulbous head and eight legs. Number 13. 
Japanese spider crab. For an arachnophobe, the word spider is enough to create all sorts of horrifying visions of an eight-legged creature. Combine that with crab and the mind goes into overdrive. With the greatest leg span of any arthropod, an invertebrate animal with an external skeleton, the Japanese spider crab can measure up to 5.5 meters or 18 feet from claw to claw. If that isn't enough to get you hyperventilating into the nearest paper bag, then the fact that their body can grow up to 40 centimeters wide just might. Not only that, the Japanese spider crab has been known to weigh in at almost 20 kilograms, the average weight of an American six-year-old. The world's largest crustacean, the spider crab, was discovered in 1836 and typically resides in the ocean at depths of between 490 to 980 feet. Of the male and female, the male is known to have the longer chelipeds. These are either of the two legs that carry a claw. Aside from its obvious size difference, the Japanese spider crab's appearance appearance differs considerably from that of other crabs. For example, the pleopods, or swimming limbs, of the male are usually twisted. The crab's larva is more primitive, and it's colored orange with white spots along its legs. And like our friend the Atlantic wolffish, the spider crab may appear ferocious, but it's reported to have a gentle disposition. Some good news at last. Number 12. Star-Nosed Mole A small mole that primarily inhabits forests, marshes, swamps, and the wet lowlands of North America and Canada, the star-nosed mole has a prominent and unusual snout that takes its appearance to a whole new level. The little creature's unique star-shaped nose features 22 pink, fleshy, tentacle-like appendages called rays. These act as feelers and can help the functionally blind mole to hunt prey and navigate the wetlands looking for insects and worms or small fish. With two nostrils in the center, the nose gives the appearance of a tiny octopus that has grabbed hold of the mole and not let go. One of the most sensitive touch organs around, the mole's nose has more than 25,000 sensory receptors and helps the little creature to determine whether an object is suitable to eat. A carnivore, the star-nosed mole is known to be active throughout the day and night and continues to forage for food during the winter, swimming in icy streams under frozen ponds and snuffling through the snow. Covered in dark brown, water-repellent fur, the little mole has broad feet with claws and when fully grown, can measure up to 8 inches in length and weigh around 50 grams. Although they can only see light and movement, the star-nosed moles are excellent swimmers, using their feet and tail as propellers, sniffing out prey underwater by blowing bubbles towards them, then retrieving their scent by re-inhaling the same air bubbles. A relatively technical method, not only does it help them to detect prey, but also potential predators. They are excellent diggers and generally build their nests in deep tunnels using sticks, leaves, and dry grass to keep them dry. Number 11 humpback anglerfish. Straight out of a horror movie, the humpback anglerfish is pretty much all teeth. Made famous through its appearance on Pixar's Finding Nemo, where the ghastly fish entices Marlin and Dory into a dark chasm with her glowing dorsal fin, the anglerfish can be found at depths between 5,000 and 15,000 feet. With a pitch black appearance and a cavernous mouth spilling over with huge, fang-like teeth, these terrifying beasts, although straight out of a Stephen King thriller are considered one of the coolest creatures, with their lighted lore adding to the fascination. This bioluminescent fishing lure, or Elysium, sits on the head of the female anglerfish and is used to attract unsuspecting crustaceans, other fish, and prey, or a mate. A muscular skin flap is used to literally play a game of hide-and-seek, with the anglerfish able to hide or reveal its lighted lore when desired. Other adaptations allow the deep-sea anglerfish to seize and swallow anything they find with their large mouths and stomachs and long, pointy teeth helping them to easily facilitate the capture of a much-needed meal. The female is larger than the male anglerfish, with the male very small and non-predatory. In fact, they're so small, they often attach themselves to their mates and effectively become like parasites, fused to their body, feeding from their blood and essentially just a sperm factory. Females have been known to carry six or more males on their bodies. Number 10. 
Frilled Shark Described as more terrifying than a great white shark, the frilled shark is a peculiar creature that looks like a prehistoric mix between a shark and an eel. Fully grown, the shark can reach lengths of nearly 2 meters and is said to spend most of its time in the open ocean, trawling the deep, dark waters far below the surface. With fins placed toward the back of its body, the shark's swimming cycle closely resembles that of an eel or sea snake. Ferocious and active predators, the frilled shark is known to lunge at potential predators swallowing it whole. They particularly enjoy squid, but will eat a variety of fish and other sharks if necessary. Their long, pin-sharp teeth sit in several rows and are perfect for grabbing hold of the soft-bodied squid, devouring it in minutes. In fact, with its teeth numbering over 200, the frilled shark's victims have few options to escape. Very rarely encountered in the wild, these sharks continue to remain a bit of a mystery, with scientists basing what little they know on the dissection of sharks accidentally captured by deep sea fishermen or by observing them in captivity. Number 9. Goliath Tigerfish A large predatory fish that lives in Africa's Congo River Basin, the Goliath Tigerfish has the striped appearance of a tiger but also crocodile-like features, making it both dangerous and hideous. Known to attack humans, badly injuring and even killing them, interaction with this specimen should be avoided wherever possible. Its dagger-like teeth make this monster a fierce hunter, with both its size, up to 1.5 feet, and weight, 50 kilograms, further enhancing this huge, muscular fish's killer reputation. Called Goliath due to its size, the fish predominantly feeds on fish it can overpower, using the calmer sections of the rapids to ambush its prey. Known for their keen eyesight, the tiger fish can easily detect its prey and quickly accelerates to chase it down and capture it. Considered to be one of the greatest freshwater game fish in the world, locals say the Goliath tiger fish is possessed with an evil spirit. Described as the ultimate river monster by Jeremy Wade of the documentary series River Monsters, the tiger fish is known as the fastest freshwater fish and can attack and catch birds in flight. Number 8. Vampire Fish Payara. With a name like Vampire Fish, you would be forgiven for thinking these fish have fangs. And you'd be right, with one of their most notable features, two large elongated fangs that are seen to protrude from its lower upturned jaw. With a diet that includes piranhas, it's easy to see where these teeth could prove helpful, for what is considered the craziest looking fish you are likely to find in South America. Under the murky, dark depths of the water's surface are some exceptionally frightening looking fish. Some are harmless, others are not. The vampire fish is one fish that is not to be messed with. Worthy of its reputation, this fish is not only creepy, it's dangerous, earning itself the nickname saber-toothed tiger fish and water wolf. Just imagine Count Dracula but in fish form. Number 7. Marine Hatchet Fish Imagine, if you will, a hatchet blade swimming toward you, teeth bared and lit up like a firefly. Shaped like a hatchet, hence the name Hatchet Fish, this sea creature has special light-producing organs that protect it against predators and help it to attract a mate. Ranging in size from a tiny 2.8 centimeters to 12 centimeters, these little fish feed off plankton and other small fish, and are found in the tropical, subtropical, and temperate waters of the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. The small, deep-sea fish can live just a few hundred meters under the surface, but are also capable of swimming in waters as deep as 1,500 meters. Certainly an odd little fish, it isn't considered dangerous, just very ugly. Unlike several other creatures on our list, the hatchet fish has exceptionally sharp vision and can collect the faintest of light focusing on objects both near and far. Their bioluminescent photophores, like that of the female anglerfish's lore, allow them to use counter-illumination to escape predators lurking below them. This trick of light means the fish doesn't appear darker than its surroundings if seen from below, effectively creating a camouflage. Number 6. Komodo Dragon The world's largest lizard, the Komodo Dragon not only resembles a small dinosaur, it's almost as dangerous as one. With a huge, dinosaur-like body and venomous saliva, these large lizards with their yellow, forked tongues and sturdy limbs can swallow huge chunks of meat at an astonishing pace and can weigh up to 79 kilograms. Aided by the muscles in their jaws and throat and several movable joints, the Komodo Dragon can open its jaw unusually usually wide, and that's not all. 
The dragon's stomach, not unlike that of a snake, expands easily, allowing an adult to essentially devour up to 80% of its body mass in one sitting. They can also throw it back up again to lessen their weight and flee if a predator descends. Limited to a few Indonesian islands, including Rintja, Padar, Flores, and Komodo, the dragons sit at the top of their food chain and reside in tropical savanna forests, either on beaches or ridge tops, eating almost any kind of meat from small rodents to large water buffalo. Their young eat mainly small lizards and insects, as well as snakes and birds, moving on to larger prey as they age. Number 5 Monstrous Megamouth Shark An extremely rare species of deep water shark and barely ever seen by humans, the Megamouth Shark is the smallest of the surviving filter-feeding sharks alongside the whale and basking shark. Noted for its large, gaping mouth and rubbery lips, the Megamouth Shark is appropriately named and is said to swim with its mouth wide open, catching and sucking its prey inside whilst gliding along. A truly bizarre-looking fish, the shark's mouth is is so large that it extends past its eyes. Inside the jaw is equipped with about 50 rows of small, sharp teeth, top and bottom. First discovered in 1976, fewer than 100 specimens of the Megamouth have been either observed or caught. Considered a unique species of shark, it's believed to mainly operate during the day and appears to have no preference to the type of waters it resides in. They've been found in the shallow and deep waters of both Taiwan and Japan, but also the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean. However, a lot about this rarely seen ocean-dwelling monster remains a mystery. Number 4. Chimera from the outside, the chimera looks very much like a shark. However, they are only distantly related, with their last common ancestor living nearly 400 million years ago. Informally labeled ghost sharks, ratfish, spookfish, and rabbitfish, the chimera is a strange fish that appears almost transparent in parts. Lines across the peculiar fish's surface look like veins or stitched seams, and its big head, large eyes, and oddly positioned snout just add further insult to a fish that was already very ugly. Their snout, which sits in front of its eyes, looks like a duck bill. Its large front teeth resemble those of a rabbit, and its body appears to taper into what looks like a long, rat-like tail. It's truly a bizarre combination of several creatures, and has even been labeled elephant fish, a name that arose due to the tip of its snout having a curled-up appearance like that of a miniature elephant's. This poor wee character just can't seem to catch a break. There's one bonus, however. Apparently, the chimera's bill-like elephant trunk-type snout is useful for detecting prey. Covered in sensory organs, the fish can sniff out food even if it's buried. The deep sea dwellers are known to inhabit most of the world's oceans, except for the Arctic and Antarctic waters. Number 3. Camel Spiders They became an internet sensation during the Iraq War of 2003, with tall tales told of large, venomous creatures wreaking havoc throughout the Middle East. Said to be half the size of a human and running equally as fast, these stories of the camel spiders proved to be greatly exaggerated. Rumors of their bloodthirsty natures were quickly quelled, with the camel spiders making history for all the wrong reasons. The truth is, the camel spider is an amazing predator, just not one capable of eating a camel's stomach or that of a sleeping soldier. They aren't large either, and nor are they spiders. They are salifugids. Although they have eight legs and two body sections, just like spiders and scorpions, the camel spider is different enough to belong to their own species. The non-venomous, aggressive spiders live on every continent except Antarctica and Australia. Although they have large jaws and are considered big for a spider, with an approximate leg span of around six to eight inches, the camel spider doesn't roam in into horror movie territory. With that description, we're not completely convinced. Number 2. Creatonatos Gangus Moth If you thought moths were creepy, they don't have anything on the Creatonatos Gangus Moth. Found in the northern regions of Western Australia, the Northern Territory, Queensland, and Southeast Asia, this insect is a unique species of arctine moth that's appearance is downright terrifying. Resembling a bizarre combination of a moth and alien antenna sprouting like tufts from its abdomen, this little delight sent social media users scrambling for the power button. In fact, one person was said to declare, I'd burn the house down if I saw this. Get in line, you would not be alone. 
The female moth has a red or yellow stomach, and the male, who appears to take courtship very seriously, has four inflatable appendages that unfurl from inside its abdomen, spreading his pheromones to find a mate even if they're several kilometers away. Looking like that, he'd need some sort of superpower to secure a mate, that's for sure. Number 1. Ambly Piggy Eight eyes. Who needs eight eyes? Well, apparently the Ambly Piggy does. The ancient arachnid, also known as the Whip Spider and Tailless Whip Scorpion, may look terrifying, but according to experts, they're quite timid and delicate creatures. In fact, they've been described as kind of touchy-feely, as they're known to caress their young with their feelers and like to live together until sexual maturity. They do not build webs, as they have very long claws, and when they fight with each other, they appear to be dancing. What a fascinating fascinating sight that would be. Despite the fact they have so many eyes, the mainly tropical and subtropical Ambly Piggy struggle to see. And while some species are subterranean, all are believed to be nocturnal, coming out to play in the dead of night. Too many teeth, large mouths, long legs, and multiple eyes, these are just some of the things that make creatures scary. They're also some of the elements that make the very same creatures perfect for inclusion in a horror movie, or for that matter, a Disney movie. Can you think of of others that should have made the list? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!